my esteemed colleague shri devu singh chauhan ji dignitaries on the dais all the participants especially the participants from overseas whether you have joined physically or virtually i welcome all of you to this first international quantum conclave it's indeed a moment of pride for all of us that within a very short time frame of about 8 years india's telecom sector has totally transformed from being mired in a series of litigations from being again and again beaten up by the investor community from being a sector which was at one point of time a sunrise sector it had gone into a a, a serious a seriously challenging position from that situation to the situation today india's telecom sector in the last 8 years is now a very vibrant a very resolute and a very forward looking sector i congratulate all the participants of the telecom sector whether the researchers the entrepreneurs the practitioners the uh, students and the engineering colleges everybody all of you who have contributed to this journey in this journey friends quantum is the new frontier quantum is the new frontier of technology this is a technical conclave uh, this is the conclave where the experts will be speaking people like us should be kind of staying away from the technical terms so i'll try to be as far away from the technical terms as possible i'll just share the vision that honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji has given for the country for the sector prime minister's vision is that we have passed through all that serious issues all those serious issues time is time has come when we should be taking the lead in developing technology we have to take the lead in becoming a technology exporter and not just the technology consumer that's the vision with which the entire industry is working the entire sector is working today so i'll give a couple of examples developing 4g 5g technology stack is something which was considered as practically next to impossible but within a very short time frame of about less than 3 years actually less than 3 years a world class 4g 5g technology stack has been developed by our own entrepreneurs and by our, by our scientists and by the by the researchers good thing is since we didn't have a legacy system so we could uh, start with a blank slate with a white board and create a system which is in a sense technologically a step superior compared to what the other systems are available we knew that when we make a claim that we have developed a new 4g 5g technology stack the world will generally be skeptic about it so when a typical new development is tested for about 100000 simultaneous connections we decided to test our system for 1 million simultaneous connections to begin with then we ramped it up to 5 million simultaneous connections and last december we tested it for 10 million simultaneous connections and friends <laughs> the results have been heartening the results have been very good we sincerely believe that this solution will become really popular all over the world we already have interest from more than 18 20 countries now where people would like to deploy this system because there is a trust in the products which are coming from india people know that india's products would have been deployed and tested at scale so as the honorable prime minister said very recently india's telecom sector provide solutions which can be trusted and which which can be deployed at scale so that's the advantage we have that's the extra benefit that we can give to the world last year in the in the in the same spirit of being taking lead in development of technologies last year prime minister gave us the challenge that we should now become leader in developing the 6g technology the task was not easy 
to reach where what the prime minister really thinks of taking india to we gathered all the participants in the telecom sector the researchers the industry the entrepreneurs the students everybody gathered everybody got together in this journey and we set out a road map for developing 6g the initial hiccups were there of course but very soon we could put together a very cogent strategy for 6g development and to test whether that strategy works or not before we got it launched by the prime minister we decided to see whether the strategy will really work or not and we put some challenges before the industry friends very happy to share with you within a very short time frame of less than about 14 16 months we have today 127 patents in 6g technology this is the confidence of our country this is the confidence of india this is the confidence of our entrepreneurs this is the confidence of our researchers who now sincerely believe who really think that yes we can make a very big contribution to the development of 6g technology this is the spirit with which we will work in quantum communications also so just a few months back about 7 months back we decided to throw a challenge put a challenge before the public and private sector and the first uh, qkd distribution system the standards were released and in that standard release system we decided that we'll do a pilot without actually implementing something on field it's very difficult to know whether things will work or not so a small pilot was taken up between the sanchar bhavan and the nic office in the cgo complex can we do a quantum secure communication link between a point a and point b which we can then open it up open it up to the world and throw a challenge to are ethical hackers see whether you can break it so the first quantum secure communication link between sanchar bhavan and nic cgo complex is now operational i thank all the participants from the industry who have done this who have been able to achieve this in such a short time frame and today we will be launching a hackathon a challenge round where anybody who breaks this system and the system developed by c dot we will be giving 10 lakh rupees per break on this so all the genius minds at it kanpur i was one of the hackers right so those were different days now times have changed we have lost what we learnt in the college um so i all the brilliant minds all the engineers minds all the minds who think that no i can break every lock i res i respect your mind and invite all of you to come together come forward and try and break this in the in the uh in the prime minister's vision of developing telecom technology standards and research protocols will take a very important place that's why one of the first things that we did was to set the tc on the path to developing the standards so the first set of standards was released last year and the second set of standards is getting released today a small trivia small trivia which i would like all of us to take note of and if we can follow it in other places it will be nice we decided not to increase the solid waste load of delhi and today when you saw the books being 
uh, standard books being launched, there was no wrapping paper, there was no ribbons. It was simply presented in a tray so that all of us can simply pick it up and release it. Small trivia, but makes a big difference because it shows the mindset of the department, it shows the mindset of the industry that yes, we are part of the clean Swachh Bharat movement where we don't want to increase any waste. Friends, this is the time for technical discussions. I think we are well in time for that. I would not like to take more time of the experts. Uh, one more thing that we are starting today is part of the CDOT. CDOT is one of those institutions which as an Indian, I really, really feel proud of. It's an institution which, at, which was created to develop telecom technologies at a time when the whole world was thinking of India as like, okay, we will be selling our technologies. And that is the time when CDOT came up with some really, really robust technologies. Over a period of time, it had a phase of decline. But in the recent past, in the last eight years, CDOT has been revived to a great extent. And today CDOT is proudly making advances in really advanced, really frontier, really uh, cutting edge technologies. So the 4G and 5G technology that we discussed at the beginning of this session, the core has been developed by CDOT and core is the brain. The radio network can be done by multiple players. So that's the public private partnership we are developing where CDOT develops one of the critical pieces of the entire solution. Then multiple private players, entrepreneurs, academia, they can all join and add value to it. In the same spirit, we'll be uh, requesting CDOT and we'll be uh, giving them more funds and more resources for developing uh, indigenous secure quantum cryptography protocols for both QKD and PQC. So CDOT uh, will become the nodal will become the nodal uh, organization for developing quantum communication variety of uh, technical stuff, which I cannot even pronounce. So, uh, great uh, way forward for CDOT. Please uh, put all your might and all your passion behind this project and make sure that every entrepreneur who wants to test something or who wants to add something to what you have developed gets a fair chance. So, friends, wish you all a very good uh, uh, session ahead. And uh, I sincerely hope that something really nice will come out of this conference. Thank you very much. Wish you all the best.